हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स अ वेरी वार्म गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम बैक इन अवर साइंस सेशन सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज वी नो दैट बिफोर दिवाली वेकेशन वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड अवर लेसन नंबर नाइन सो इन टूडेज सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू मूव फॉर अवर नेक्स्ट लेसन दैट इज लेसन नंबर टेन एडेप्टेशन हाउ एनिमल्स सर्वाइव सो इन अवर लेसन नंबर एट ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द एडेप्टेशन बट इन दैट वी हैव डिस्कस दैट हाउ द प्लांट्स आर गेटिंग एडेप्टेड टू लिव इन देयर पर्टिक्युलर सराउंडिंग so in today's session or in this lesson we are going to discuss about the adaptations but we are going to discuss about the adaptations in animals and how that adaptation helps the animals to live in their surrounding so as we know that the animals are found everywhere or in the whole, whole world or over the world okay so the plants and animals are also found all over the world they live in forest desert and polar region some animals live on land also some are living in water also so as we know that we are having our house in our house we are growing we are living we can feel comfortable in our house but our house is what man made so here also the animals are having their own house okay they are living in their natural place that is only their house but their house is what natural so the natural place where an animal lives and grows is called its habitat so the place where the animals are living they are growing that place is called as habitat and that places are what naturally it is not man made or the animals are not making that places it is the natural place where an animals lives and grow is called its habitat so according to the habitats the animals are classified into different groups so let's see that group first one is there that is what terrestrial animals so as we know we have already discussed about the terrestrial terrestrial means for land so the animals those who are living on the land are called terrestrial animals animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals next one examples are elephants tiger lion dogs cat then we can say cow buffalo ox wolf so many are there so all these are what terrestrial animals next one is there that is aquatic animals aqua means what water so the animals that live in water are called aquatic animal for example fish yes if we'll say the aquatic animal then the first name comes in our mind that is what fish so the animals that live in water are called aquatic animals for example fish whales turtle octopus all these are the examples of aquatic animals now the next one we will discuss that is amphibians 